We're gonna walk you through the setup process for our new rangefinder TOF-1. For those of you unfamiliar, it's an infrared rangefinder from Teradek that's fully integrated in the Teradek RT ecosystem. Once paired with a small HD monitor, you're able to receive distance measurement readouts directly on your screen. So the very first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is hook up our RT system to our camera, starting with our MDRX. We'll get it mounted to our camera and run our motor and power cables. Next, we need to enable communication between the MDRX and the TOF-1. From the MDRX menu, navigate to RX Config Rangefinder, then select Mid Motor. This will open the line of communication between the TOF-1 and the MDRX. Now that we've got our MDRX set up, we'll attach our TOF-1. We're going to mount it using the new Universal Ultra Arm by Wooden Camera. Now we're ready to plug in the TOF-1, first into the unit itself and then into our MDRX. Keep in mind that it has to go in the center motor port. In addition to power, this cable also gives us data. So one ultra thin cable for both power and data. So at this point, we can see the distance readouts on the OLED display of our MDRX, but we wanna see it on our small HD monitor. So first, we're gonna reach for our Control 3. This system also works with Control 1, but you'll need to have a lens mapping license installed on your Control 1. Lens mapping allows for us to store lens data on our controller so we can easily communicate what lens we're using to our RT system. We'll start by powering everything up, including our Bolt 4K. And right over here, we've got our ND7 equipped with a Bolt 4K receiver monitor module. Using our monitor mounting bracket, we'll attach our Control 3 to our small HD monitor, and then we're gonna select our lens. We've already mapped this lens, so we simply need to pull it up from our library. We'll press Menu, Lens, Lens Map, Select, then we'll toggle down to the bottom and select the Zeiss 50mm CP3. It's imperative you have a lens map selected on your controller for best results with the TOF-1. It needs to know what lens is on the camera in order to make adjustments. Next, we'll connect our controller to our monitor with our monitor interface cable so that we're able to see our overlays. The overlay feature can be enabled on screen with a small HD monitor running Page OS 4. We'll tap our screen and select RT, and then RT overlays will appear. Now we can see our distance data from the TOF-1 here in red. We can also see where we're focused here on the right, as well as our iris over here on the left. And this teal area here represents our depth of field. So right now we have a seven inch depth of field. You can also customize the layout of all this information. For instance, we can move our focus placement from the right side of the screen to the bottom. And now our lens data is down here at the bottom. You can customize many elements of the overlay screen based on your preferences. You can also expand the size of the rangefinder overlay to make it more prominent on your screen. Now that we have our on-screen overlays set up, let's finish setting up our rangefinder. Next, we'll show you how to calibrate the TOF-1. We'll want to get out our tape and measure from our focal plane mark. It's this symbol, a circle with a line through it, in case you're unfamiliar. We determine that the subject is 4 feet 9 inches away. We check our monitor to see our subject is in focus. But when we see our distance reading from the TOF-1, we notice there's a discrepancy. The subject is actually in focus at four feet, nine inches, but we're getting a reading around four feet, one inch. To fix this, we'll go to our controller. We'll start by selecting menu, toggle down to rangefinder, then down to calibrate. So here we can see what our reading is currently, and then we can manually input the offset, which is currently set to zero. We just press the up arrow and it will increase in two tenths of an inch increments until we reach our desired offset. We've determined that it's 8.2 inches. We'll select set. It takes a second and we'll go from four feet, one inch to four feet, nine inches and now our system is calibrated. The TOF-1 also comes with a laser on top of the unit that gives you a reference of where the infrared light is hitting, which can come in very handy because the infrared beam has a three degree field of view and a range of up to 80 feet. We thought we'd do a little experiment and show you exactly what the pattern looks like. We put a special infrared optical low pass filter on our camera that only allows for infrared light to pass through. So what you're seeing isn't visible light, it's infrared. As you can see, the target you need to hit is fairly narrow. Also, it's important that you make sure your time of flight 
is positioned on the same plane as your subject for the most accurate measurement. Now let's take a look at the autofocus system guided by the TOF1. So the first thing we wanna do is set a custom button for our autofocus. Where do we do that? Over on our control three. We'll select menu, then toggle down to buttons, select button two, select set, toggle down to cine, select set, and then go back to the main menu by hitting menu twice. Then when we hit button two here, it will activate our autofocus. All right, let's test it out. We'll place our slate in front of the camera, mark it, and then the system racks back to our subject. And the whole time, you're over at Crafty getting the last donut with pink sprinkles. There's some amazing applications for this product and we're very excited to see it push the boundaries of lens control. Happy shooting.